Hey guys, welcome back to the Trico Louvre Room. Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up and install a gearbox kit. Let's get started. Protecting the condition of in-service gearbox lubricants has long been neglected throughout many industries, likely because they are generally a closed application and subscribe to the drain and replace method on oil changes. But what if you wanted to improve that? So today, we'll show you how to set up and install a gearbox kit that will not only extend the life of your lubricant, but also put time back on the clock and money back in your maintenance budget. Let's take a look at the features that are included in these gearbox kits. Let's start with the sample port pitot tube. These components allow you to take oil samples from within the thrust zone of your internal equipment, where lubrication is most essential. Applying an oil analysis program to your gearboxes will provide you with the health data of your oil and the internal components within your sump. Next is the liquid level gauge. This component allows for easy viewing of your lubricant levels without opening up your equipment to potential contaminants. Now, the desiccant breather. Installing a desiccant breather will help control condensation buildup from within the sump, and also mitigate ingression of particulate and moisture from entering the headspace. And then, we have the quick disconnect fittings. In the event that your oil analysis results show increased contamination of water and particulates, these fittings will allow you to easily apply a portable filtration system to reach your desired cleanliness level. Finally, the pressure balancing line. This line connects the headspace of your liquid level gauge to that of the gearbox sump, avoiding potential contamination through a vent and possibly false readings due to internal pressure or vacuum conditions. Now that we've checked out the features, let's take a look at how we'd install this kit on your gearbox out in the field. One last thing to note, all fittings and components come pre-assembled and packed hand tight without any hydraulic sealant applied to the connections. This is done intentionally because each application has different clearances for rotation when threading them into the equipment. Ultimately, it's up to the on-site personnel to determine how much pre-assembly is done in the shop, as well as in the field, where hydraulic sealant should be applied to each connection point on the gearbox kit. To demonstrate the installation process, we'll use this small Dodge gearbox. We've disassembled this unit so we can take the front cover off and show you how the installation process works. Trico offers many configurations of this kit, for a variety of different applications. First, we'll start with installing the lower portion of the kit on this port here. We'll disassemble the hand-tightened components and apply some sealant. Now let's start installing these components. Now that that's tight, we can install the first quick disconnect. Now that that's finished, we can install the pitot tube, but first, we need to ensure that it's sized properly. In order to properly size your pitot tube, you'll want to slide it through the already installed fittings until it makes contact with your internal components. Then mark the pitot tube just outside the fittings. Then you'll want to measure the distance from the end of the pitot tube to the mark that you just made. This distance of 6 inches represents the distance from the outside of the fittings to the internal components. Now we can use this measurement to determine the final length of our pitot tube by simply flipping it around and measuring 6 inches out from the face of the hex. Before marking your pitot tube, you'll want to subtract a half an inch from your 6 inches. This will ensure that the pitot tube does not make contact with internal components once it's installed. We went ahead and got this cut down to the correct mark. Now we can begin with the installation. First we'll install the swivel. And then the pitot tube. As you can see, the pitot tube doesn't make contact with the internal components. The pitot tube is now within the turbulent zone, which is an ideal position when taking a sample. Next up is the liquid level gauge. With the lower assembly finished, we can put the front cover back on and get started with the upper components. We went ahead and applied some sealant to all of the components. Now we can install it on the top end of the gearbox. The last step will be installing the pressure balancing line. To 
To finalize the installation, don't forget to remove the rubber band seal from your desiccant. So that wraps up our video today on how to install a Trico gearbox kit. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us.